Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Alekhya Datta. I'm working in Energy Environment Technology Development Division in Terry. First of all, I'd like to thank you all, uh, all the participants, to join us for this webinar on rooftop solar OPS tool for Indian solar cities. So to uh, initiate uh, this uh, webinar, I would like to uh, uh, request all of you to uh, take part in our poll, uh, which uh, Ms. Harsha is going to open. So please uh, participate in the poll and give your response. And in the meantime, we'll start our presentation on rooftop solar ideas tool for, for Indian solar cities. As you know, like uh, today our uh, top, uh, topic of our uh, webinar is uh, to demonstrate and our rooftop solar ideas tool that we have developed for Chandigarh as one of the solar cities in our, in our country. So to start with, I would like to give you a brief introduction about our uh, initiative and why we have chosen GIS as a platform uh, for this initiative and some of the background uh, behind our study also. So in India, uh, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy is promoting a solar rooftop systems at large scale level uh, under Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission Phase 2. In that, uh, they have large scale developed uh, the policy framework for important implementation of solar photovoltaic system, mostly in the solar cities. And Chandigarh is one of the solar cities they have identified for that. And then we had a discussion with uh, nodal agencies in Chandigarh, uh, so whether we can develop our digital support system to promote rooftop solar FGS tool uh, uh, for larger implementation uh, at city level. So then we thought we need to encourage consumers uh, how they can use their rooftop uh, to install the solar uh, FGS using this FGS platform to large scale implementation, implementation of uh, rooftop solar PV system. As well as if you go on to that uh, the India Smart Grid Forum Roadmap that recently launched by the Ministry of Power. So there is also a large scale implementation of solar rooftop PV system has been mentioned. So then we thought uh, why not Chandigarh as a solar city to start this initiative. With no doubt we found it like with GIS can be a digital support system we can use to implement such initiative. So we have already have a discussion on uh, this agencies uh, like uh, CREST in Chandigarh, which, which is a nodal agency uh, for the implementation of solar energy system. Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Shakti Sustainable Energy Foundation is basically supporting us for carrying out this initiative. So to move ahead, I'd like to uh, mention like why we have chosen Chandigarh as a phase one for this initiative. Because Chandigarh is one of the solar cities, uh, in fact, model solar cities, uh, is, uh, it has been identified by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. And Terry earlier has developed a ma ma solar city master plan for this area, uh, for Chandigarh. So then we thought, uh, uh, and it's uh, one of the planned city in this country. So we thought it, it can be a good platform to showcase, uh, uh, to develop our tool, which can estimate uh, each building a rooftop solar potential for entire Chandigarh. And in our study, we have covered uh, uh, entire Chandigarh as well as some part of Mohali and Panchula. So uh, now I'll discuss a bit about uh, the technical uh, details about our project and how we have prepared those data and what is GIS is all about, basically. So, so you know, like uh, for any GIS application, the main major constraint is you need to have a, a special data as a back end of your application. So we thought we need to create our own data sets for entire Chandigarh, or including Mali as well as Panchkula. So to create the spatial database, we need to take a satellite imagery. And again, for this initiative, we have taken a, we have used the satellite imagery. The name, I mean, it's a French satellite, and the name is this one a which is having less than 50 centimeter spatial resolution, which is a very high resolution satellite imagery we have used for our application to get the more accuracy of building area to calculate more accurate solar insulation value. So to get the satellite imagery we need, as a non-profit business organization we need to have a support from ministries. So we have taken a required custody certificate to get the clearance for taking this satellite imagery because it's, the resolution I have mentioned is less than 50 centimeters. So there is some restriction on security side. So we need to take a permission from ministry and we have taken this uh, satellite imagery from National Remote Sensing Center in Hyderabad. 
it's a part of Indian Space Research Organization. And uh, on the right hand side in my presentation, you can see like this is the study area, the area of interest we are covering for entire Chandigarh. And this is the, the actual satellite imagery coverage that we are having uh, for Chandigarh. Uh, we are having total around 108 square kilometers of area that we have covered in entire city. We covered all the buildings, all the buildings grouped up rather situated within the our coverage area. So this is the methodology that we have adopted for our application for our WebGIS tool. Uh, as you know, like for any GIS application, we need to have a backend database which we have prepared using satellite imagery. Uh, we have created our own building rooftops of in Chandigarh. We have digitized the, all the building rooftops, and in digital format, we have used this data in our application. And on the on the other hand, we have calculated solar radiation data, solar radiation data rather, uh, using digital radiation model. I will come later on the part. And so once we have a uh, building group of uh, the area of each building in Chandigarh and solar information value, then we can easily uh, do the, our analysis that is required for how much kilowatt peak solar PV system you can put, what will be the cost. That I will showcase to you uh, in our application demonstration also. After preparation of GIS datasets, we put it in our enterprise geo database. Uh, all the spatial information as well as non-spatial information, the attributal information. Rather. Then we take uh, those uh, database into our server. For that, uh, for any GIS application, as you know, uh, we need to use GIS server and application, web application server for that. And our tool is basically a client-side application which will require a browser uh, with no plugin is required. I will mention it later, like uh, why it is so. And only you need a browser with uh, having an internet connection. You can easily use this tool. I will mention the, the URL of this tool after the end of my presentation. So this is uh, one of the slides. I put it here. So, uh, it, will, it is showing the entire Chandigarh area and how the building has been created. Uh, the, the All the building rooftops that we have created in Chandigarh. So the green color one is the building rooftop that, is, that we have created using satellite imagery. And this is the main uh, purpose of our main uh, element of our data is a uh, digital surface model. And why we have created is to calculate solar insulation data and and to calculate the heights of each building and other topographical objects. Like if you have any trees, any nearby high-rise building, any objects is there. Because uh, the sun is moving towards east to west always and there is a changes in, in sun angle. So we need to calculate all the... Uh, the shadowing aspects uh, during calculation of solar insulation value of each building. We are we have used a 50 centimeter satellite imagery, and we have created a digital surface model using stereo pair imagery, imagery from the same satellite to get the accurate information of of buildings. We have done the uh, image processing uh, before creating the digital surface model, and after that we have arrived at this particular uh, uh, image you are seeing here. Uh, it will mainly sh uh, sh show it to you the uh, the height elements of each object in the in in the in our study area. And if you have any specific questions related to how we have calculated the solar insulation, please post it to us, and we will be happy to give you the methodology because we are we want this kind of initiative should be demonstrated in most of the solar cities identified by MNRE ministry. And the methodology is quite open and we have, we are, we are trying to disseminate this methodology, what we have adopted as of now, so that the further any of us can take this initiative and do it for other cities also. And to promote, uh, GIS for renewable energy technologies. After creating, uh, a building data sets and a digital surface model, uh, we have, we need to calculate a solar radiation value of each building in Chandigarh. So we have used uh, ESRI RGF solar radiation tool to uh, calculate uh, the solar radiation value. As you know, in the right hand side, you can see we have used a digital surface model as input. Building point and layer, in GIS we used to call is vector data or layer or shape file in, in RGF format. So we have used a Chandigarh building data set as a point and then we, we used to get a output uh, from solar radiation like global horizontal radiance and diffuse and direct solar insulation. But for photovoltaic systems, we are more concerning about global solar radiation. Direct radiation, we are again, we are focusing in our tool also, which may be used for solar thermal technology or any concentrated solar power system. For photovoltaic system, mainly we will be depending on global as well as 
diffuse radiation. So there are certain methodologies and parameters you need to put uh, to calculate the solar insulation value. After calculating the solar insulation value, we are uh, this is the in the left hand side you are seeing on a, one of the building has been selected in the map. And in the left hand side, you can see what is the attribute. This is uh, right hand side is a spatial information. Uh, GIS is basically consists of spatial information and non-spatial information. Right hand side, what you are seeing here is a spatial uh, geometry of a building, building roof rather. And left hand side, you are seeing here so the attributal information of the building. So these all are the parameters that we are considering in our tool uh, while calculating the simulation model. And that I'll explain what are the parameters we have taken. So in the left hand side you have a roof area uh, which has been calculated uh, using satellite imagery. Then address and then sector which sector the building is and the building type uh, which is a residential, commercial, industrial or or any other type of building because we are calculating the payback and all uh, using the electricity rate. So electricity rate is in, as you know is changing on the basis of building category. And then we have on the left hand side uh, the complete uh, solar insulation data. Uh, for global radiation uh, from January to December, we have uh, annual average also and similarly for direct and deep radiation we have calculated. So uh, in Chandigarh, after uh, creating the data sets from satellite imagery, so as per good practice of any geospatial data, uh, we thought we need to validate the satellite derived data with ground measurement. So we have done a survey of 14,000 buildings in Chandigarh. and. Uh, Around 14,000 buildings we have surveyed uh, manually uh, through our surveyors and to get the accurate address, solar resource information on a ground level and other parameters. And for our satellite imagery in Chandigarh, we have created more than 1 lakh buildings. I put some numbers, uh, approximate numbers, how many buildings we have digitized or created in our and used in our application. It's 1 lakh 10,500 buildings we have created. and we have done some kind of analysis of our data like how much roof area is available in Chandigarh. If uh, the area is more than 10 square kilometer and radiation is the annual daily annual average of global increase in value is more than 4 kilowatt hour per meter square per day. So around 4 square kilometer of roof space on a, on a broader scale, on a macro level we thought it is available in Chandigarh. And please mind it we have uh, our study area was 108 square kilometer. So out of that, uh, this 4 square kilometer area can be used at a macro level to for solar PV installations. So you can see a larger potential is available in that particular, particular city in Chandigarh. And we have done some ground validation uh, of our model uh, for simulation tool that we have in our application. I will show it to you later. And we have done some validation. Uh, we received some information from Crest, which is a nodal agency in Chandigarh. They are basically implementing lots of uh, solar PV system in Chandigarh. And they have already having the install capacity of 300 megawatt is going to come. So, and they have already sanctioned around 10 groups of projects, mainly for government buildings, uh, engineering colleges and hostels. And they are one of the leading uh, the state or leading city I can say or state nodal agencies is running for rooftop PV system under the MNR, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. And this is some of the figures that we are having uh, from our GIS dataset. So now I'll move uh, to our application. And basically, uh, what all the components we have mentioned in our application. And I have some of the snapshots in my presentation also. And later on, we'll share our application as well. So this is uh, the main uh, USP you can say for our application. There are several tools was available globally. Uh, which has been developed using proprietary products. And there is no such India specific tool was available. So we thought why not we can develop a tool which will be specifically for Indian solar cities. And then why we should go along with proprietary software because the GIS is a very costly, uh, costliest approach as you know. So we thought open source GIS can also give us some possibility uh, to develop such kind of initiative. So that's why we have chosen open source GIS. Uh, we want to promote uh, this technology, the GIS technology for renewable energy uh, promotional activities. Because as we know, the renewable energy, apart from solar and wind, other technologies is quite not mature in India. And it's very, again, RETs, normally renewable energy are very costly uh, technologies available. 
So we thought if you are going with uh, proprietary products, um, then application cost will be more. Nobody will be interested to promote such initiative further. So we thought we need to make a cost-effective solution using open source and which can be used for all the stakeholders, for government people, the project developers, private developers, students, building owners, which is most important to promote any kind of solar PV system at city level. So consumer awareness and consumer access to the application. Because consumer, once you have developed the policy, because in theory we are developing policy for several other cities also, and we have developed a master plan for Chandigarh, as I have mentioned before. So you need to have an interaction with the consumers. So using this application or using this OSGS platform, you can have an interaction from the consumers, and consumers can apply using this tool his uh, expression of interest to nodal agency like Crest or Chandigarh. And then, then Crest can forward that application to MNR. It all will be uh, based on uh, the web based application can be used for the same platform. So our purpose was to reduce the paperwork that normally we used to do. And it used to take lots of time and it's a consuming time consuming process. So this kind of tool we thought uh, may be helpful for people. And this is some of the, the technology, some of the open source platform we have used for develop this application. And as you know, it's a client-side application, so the interaction between web and backend database is there always, and in front end it will communicate with the user uh, through browser or and which is having an internet connection. So for web application, we have used again our open source technology, open layer. The the development platform we have used is the JavaScript and PHP as well as Ajax. And we thought to develop a rich internet application rather than a common GIS applications. Because nowadays, as, as internet, the internet, people are talking about OS 3.0. We are all having a smartphone with us. So we thought if I, the look and feel of our application could remain good, so that people can use that. Otherwise, people will not be using those things. So and for GIS uh, functionality, we have used Geo Server and open source map server as well. And on the back end, we are having Apache as a web application server. And for database, we have again used uh, open source uh, database uh, called PostGISQL. And to store the special data or the geometry information, we have PostGIS as an extension in PostGISQL. And this, uh, the last line, uh, what we have mentioned here, this is one of the major USP of our application. We have lots of data because GIS is dealing with the data in, G in, in gigabyte or terabyte. We have around 5 GB of data, building data in our application. So if you want to load all the applications, all the data sets at one go, it will take lots of time and it will, user may be frustrated with that. So that's why we thought we need to do some kind of innovative technique like Google used to do, Google Maps used to do. So we have created our own file caching for that and, and our app, we have hosted our application in a, in a cloud service uh, taken from Amazon and our application is completely open source and publicly available. And this is the, some of the snapshot I uh, put in my slide and below is the URL you are finding. And we have launched the beta version of this tool, the Roots of Solar OGS tool. You can directly access it from uh, this URL or you can go, uh, I'll, I'll mention from where to access it. And this is the beta version that we have released. And probably we are going to launch this tool officially in the middle of March rather. So this is the basic uh, the interface of our tool. Uh, I'll explain more on that. Uh, once you have opened the particular URL, it will be the login is, is required. You can register yourself. Uh, you can create your own account. There will be no charge. You can create your own account as much as possible. And you can inform your colleagues also to do that. Because still we are in beta version of our tool. And if we get any good comments from your people, we will definitely try to improve our service or improve our tool. And anyways, we are going to release this tool in March. Uh, it will be version 1 and version 2, 3 and those things can be come out as per your comments and other things. And because we want this tool to be used by most of the stakeholders and for other city as well. So this is a, you have, you can, either you can create your own login, uh, create your own account and you can access this tool from there. And this is some of the features of our tool. On the right hand side, you can see uh, a base map we have used because uh, we can't upload a satellite imagery that we have used to create the building data set. Because there is a issue of uploading satellite imagery in, on the web. In India remote sensing data policy, we can't directly upload the satellite imagery to the web. 
instead of we can create our own vector data and to have a background map map background layer here we have used google maps google street maps google art imagery also as well as microsoft bing maps and open layer and on the, on the upper side you, you can see the toolbar which is having it is consisting of uh, basic navigation tool of gis as well as some of the core tool for our application so this is one of the functionality that normally used to have in any gis application query on the basis of uh, query you can select uh, which building are lying in this particular sector what is the area is available how much radiation is available so so that kind of query you can use this, using this tool select by attribute you can have a measurement tool also uh, to calculate the distance between each building this is basically to put your once you have registered over there then you can you have identified your own building then you can put a marker over there so the tool tip you are seeing here you can put your marker in your building so next time once you logged over there so your building will come and similarly the tile caching uh, mechanism we have adopted as like that i will just go back to my slide here on the right hand side you can see one you are going to create an account if you are seeing there is a there is a field uh, the combo box is available for sector so chandigarh is having around 80 sectors and we have cached all the sectors in particular tiles at different zoom level when you are registering yourself in that uh, you need to choose the sector so without populating the entire chandigarh dataset this particular sector will be zoom up, zoom in once you log in and once you again the log out and again the relogging so the particular sector is will be focus to you so it will make the tool more efficient anyways you can zoom out and take the entire city take the loop for entire city as well so this is our uh, one of the core uh, functionality that we are having uh, you can have for each building you can see what is the solar insulation potential available and and on the right hand side we had given our tool to it's basically used for the uh, government people or the policy makers at a macro level what is the potential available in, in the in city in the particular city like chandigarh or in a sector level what is the potential available so that i can develop a, a cluster based uh, policy for a particular buildings and this is the uh, core application of our uh, of core tool in our application and this is basically once you have the solar insulation value and the area then what to do with that what user will do so then we realized we need to incorporate the simulation tool into our application so it will basically taken the it can take one user click on a particular building for each building it will take insulation value solar insulation value area and what kind of technology you are looking for crystalline or thin film is a technology of pv photovoltaic system and what system type you want you want grid type system or off grid system you can choose over there and your system cost will be varying accordingly or what are the technology and system type you have to think of and on the basis of area uh, uh, you can have a what what can be the your pv solar pv system size in kilowatt feet and automatically from the gis data it will take building type either its building is uh, located within residential area commercial area or institutional area and the electricity rate will be varied account accordingly and this will, the on the left hand side in our simulation tool you will get the inputs on the right hand side you will get the once you click the run button you will have the output uh, from our tool so this is the the potential output that you are seeing here in kilowatt hour uh, from uh, 4.69 kilowatt peak system and the cost savings we are basically calculating the what is the energy savings in your monthly bill monthly electricity bill so we are calculating here uh, what is the co2 saving so we have taken uh, some numbers from cea and the potential system cost without subsidy and after the, there is a several um, range of subsidy you can select uh, 20% 30% which is available from nmri if state is giving another 20% that maybe you can choose 50% of subsidy and what is your capital investment for that so you can also have an have an estimate like for around 4.69 kilowatt system you can have a capital investment of 1,87,000 or something like that and what will be your payback So payback we are calculating here is a simple payback uh, we are calculating in years. So the numbers will be more because we are not considered any inflation value into that and any tax rebate because uh, I think such things is available outside India but in India it has to be higher. So again those parameters can be taken into consideration in the next level of this tool. 
and on the right hand side you can have a monthly generation value uh, in january to december uh, what will be your output from this uh, particular 4.69 kilowatt peak system and what will be the corresponding savings you are able to make monthly so you can con uh, compare this uh, savings with your bill and you can have like if you can put uh, around 4.69 kilowatt of system you can save a uh, lots of amount in your electricity bill also so this is after after doing the analysis you can take a report and you can directly submit your query to uh, the nodal agency because at the end of the application the crest will be uh, hosting this application at their end um, so they will be receiving uh, application or analysis results from your side and they will get back to you if you are interested to do any kind of installation so some of the additional uh, functionality that we had given as a gis application and this functionality is restricted only for site admin who will be the administrator of the site it is not available with the normal user so some of the rights like special editing some reporting functionality it's only available in site admin so you can edit your building you can create a new building because the satellite imagery that we have used for year for the year 2013 if tomorrow there is any new building comes out in the city so you can also map that in our application so our application can be dynamic it no more static application the application can be dynamic the building can be edited and if you need any information you can contact to the site admin site admin also can edit your address or whatever because we have done a survey ground survey of 14000 building out of 1 lakh buildings in chandigarh so we are having the full address only for those buildings but again there is a provision for the user uh, user can give us the input of their address our site admin will validate that in in chandigarh and we will put the information we will update the information in our gis data and so this is some of the other initiatives that we have been carrying we have taken already we have done some kind of uh, project uh, with gujarat of particularly for renewable energy so right now we are in process to develop an web based solution uh, for those gis data that we have created before and for this also this is some of the basic uh, snapshot of our application that we are going to develop and we are going soon soon we will launch this application as well and this is a local hosted this is not hosted in globe as you know like these are the some of the outcomes of this tool as i already mentioned like this tool can be used as a decision support system for all the stakeholders not only common people it can be even a user or building owners uh, from chandigarh area can access this tool and they can calculate what is my uh, use of solar potential available and then they can directly using this tool they can approach to the state nodal agency for the implementation of pv system so our tool is quite give you a, a mesh level approach to do some analysis over there and obviously this tool can be replicated for other indian solar cities also and we are in discussion with uh, few of the organization for that and also request you people to take some initiative and replicate this kind of study or application for other cities so this is the uh, the the website that we are talking about you can mention the url and and, and here we have mentioned all the related uh, initiative or activities of what we are doing particular to the project and here you can find some of the menu option this is some of the the, the section that we have mentioned in our home page uh, in in blogs you can find how the solar radiation data is calculated all the presentation related to this project Uh, the methodology that we have adopted uh, so far, everything is mentioned. And on the right hand side, uh, we are maintaining some, we are organizing some training programs and webinars for this uh, GIS tool. Some of the uh, menu option you can find it here. Uh, so you can directly open. We have already released the beta version of this tool in the third menu item, sub menu item in the first row GIS tool. You can click and it will open the particular website. So once you open this URL, you no need to write the URL. You can directly go there and you can click the third item. You have written "Rupa the Solar Radius Tool for Chandigarh." The live demo or beta release you can find it over here. So you will get a pop-up. Either you can explore uh, this tool or you can log in because explore functionality against the explore right. Some of the code tools like simulation tool will not work. For that, you need to have a login. against the explore rights uh, only basic navigation tool can can work so i'll you can create your own account like here 
you can put your name as of now we have put some fields mandatory to get the user input and this is the thing we, i am talking about if you are not from chandigarh you can choose other if you are from chandigarh if or if you want to have a, a specific sector in mind you can select a particular sector it will be the tile caching will be as per the particular chosen sector, sector only because once you registered and even log into the application a particular sector will be zoom out zoom in uh, for your purview so i have already my user id so this is uh, the user id what we are having i am having right now it's i am having the admin rights so i have i have some additional tool like simulation i can see the report i can see the feedback report as well and i have a additional functionality like edit building the special data editing is also been there is against the admin login but if you are normal user this three functionality will not be there so i just zoom in a particular area on the right hand side you can see uh, there is a option for choosing your background layers uh, you can have you can have your google street maps and google maps also uh, the google maps you can choose the uh, google earth image area and there is option for microsoft bing map as well and at chandigarh i would would prefer to use bing map and if you may find some of the sh some uh, shifting in the buildings because the satellite imagery that we have used to create the building data it is having a different camera angle it is been captured and the google and microsoft is using some other satellite imagery so that's why the minor shifting is there in the building so uh, please use this application once uh, the orange color layer has been loaded into the map you can uh, collapse the banner to get the maximum visibility of the map in window and we prefer to use google street map or you can use google uh, images also google earth imagery also or microsoft bing uh, map but google street map will give you the correct means more landmarks or point of interest or to find out your buildings so some of the tools uh, are this is all the basic navigation tool that i think all people are ever of this is one of the identified tool that we are having this area is not covered under ground survey uh, we what we have done for 14000 buildings uh, which sector it is uh, what is the property type what is the area in square meters is available and the property area in mala because mala is one of the common unit in chandigarh so then we have we will have the selector attribute tool you can have a query on the basis of the selected layers so those all the building parameters will be populated here you can do the query on the basis of that you can measure a distance between each building and then this is the our main tool uh, the core application now for that you need to have a user authentication for that you need to have a registration on time so for to use this tool but this all is openly available so you can open a uh, click in a particular building so this is the the total information data for buildings uh, the radiation value is quite minimal you are seeing here so i just switch on the imagery satellite imagery that completely tree covered is there you can see so that's why the shadowing effect we used to calculate in our tool and this is one of the macro level potential is basically this tool is basically for the policy makers they can easily see what is the potential available at city level and what is the potential available in sector level as well so all the sectors in chandigarh will be populated and on the basis of that what is the how much kilowatt peak system we can put in a particular sector so this is the some simulation tool uh, to calculate your pv system size for each building this i'll, I'll give in in details I have selected this building on the right hand side. It has been highlighted in in blue, sky blue color. I will take uh, some satellite imagery looks also. If any obstruction is there or something like that is visible, so you can select uh, on the basis of that. So any of the the background layer you can use, certain maps you can use. So it will select uh, by default the entire roof area available. you can use as per your requirement maybe you, are, you want to install pv system of for 40% of your using 50% of your roof area and 50% you, you want to you want to keep for some other purpose or 20% of your roof area and that you can select the technology either this line or thin plane because the cost will vary accordingly on the system type grid type or off grid because off grid you will need to have a battery in loop so your system cost will be more your efficiency will be less 
So those aspects also you can take and if you are using good inverters, uh, then you can modify these uh, numbers. The, this is the direct factor of your PV system and if you know the system cost, you can also put, let's suppose I am putting 150 rupees per watt and I put uh, my building as an institutional building, so this is the electricity rate per unit, the grid electricity rate you have you mentioned here. So then you can uh, run this tool and you will get the uh, system output uh, also, the, on the right hand side you will get the output uh, for this tool, like uh, what what is the, the the generation is available and the, the consumption, what is the, the savings you can do using this, uh, so everything will be there. And but you, you can choose the range of subsidy also using this tool and uh, since we are calculating a simple payback and the reduction is very low in this particular building, you can see over it here, so it is affecting the generation, so that's why the payback is quite high. And where we can, if we, if the retention is quite good, and the payback will be six to seven years or something like that. So here in this, in this case, in this particular selected building, the solar insulation value is quite low. So let me um, move to other sector as well, uh, where we can get some good insulation value, maybe in sector two. So see here, if I take a fifty percent subsidy, my payback is coming around five years because the my insulation is quite high here, it's more than 4 and the shadow effect is not there. So, and all the tools that we have developed, it's, 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 a, it's a floating tool, you can place it anywhere in the window, it will help you to do the better analysis and some rich application filling for this tool. So, for the particular selected building, uh, this is the monthly output that we are getting and this is the uh, solar insulation value uh, throughout the year for each month and what is the savings you are doing monthly by putting around 14.5 kilowatt system in your roof. So this might be some institutional building or common building, so roof of size is more. And we put some of the, all the help file, all the help related to all the text box or control we are using here to, because the user will confuse like how the value will change and what, why this thing is happening. So we are developing a user manual for this tool, it will be hosted in this application only under this uh, tab, uh, you can have a help file for this tool and we will also put help file in the website also. So once uh, we have done the simulation and we can export a report, all the analysis that we have done will be exported as, as a PDF, you can take a print or you can submit your inquiry. And before that you need to uh, agree with the terms and condition because your information, the mobile number, the, the your contact details will be shared with the third party developers uh, for further query. So then you can submit and your query will be submitted to nodal, state nodal agency that is placed for Chandigarh as well as it will be shared with the private developer. So they will get back to you like what all the, the initial investment you need to do or what all the subsidy available from ministry. And also you can you can see you know, the local installers, you can click this link and you can see the local installers which is available uh, under MNID. Basically we have put the MNID channel partners here. So this is these some of the tools uh, that is available uh, only for admin. If I want to modify this uh, building shape, I can do. I can select the vertices and I can move it here and here and I can delete the building, I can create a new building as well. So, this basically it will add a new building. Let's suppose some of the buildings is come out here. It's not mapped properly, and we can create our own buildings. We need to fill some of the information because uh, the the nodal agency knows all those information. So that's why we kept this functionality only for site administrator, not for common users. And some of the simulation report. Just now I have submitted one report uh, for this building. So it will be once uh, site admin will analyze this, all the report, this building will be highlighted. So they can they know, get to know which user is having this rooftop and what kind of system they want. So they can directly do that. And there is a the feedback uh, form is available. Uh, it is available for all users. You can type your uh, uh, comments or feedback in, in using this panel. So it will come uh, directly to admin, we can check what all the feedback we have received. I am unable to get the pass to calculate payback period. 
so this kind of uh, feedback uh, we are receiving till that you can have a entire view of chandigarh uh, i will just show it to you it requires uh, internet connection or good internet connection you need to have a internet connection and a uh, browser to access this tool no such plugin is required because we have used javascript to develop our tool so no such plugin like flash player or silver light plugin is required for our application you can have a simple browser preferred chrome google chrome or mozilla or internet explorer you can have a look of this application this is the entire chandigarh coverage area that we have done we have this the blue color is the buildings so we have digitized more than 1 lakh buildings in our application so that's it uh, from the application point of view so thank you thanks a lot for your kind participation and spending your valuable time with us please provide us please, please use this tool and provide us your valuable feedback so that it can be used for the betterment of our tool for any comments we can incorporate before our official release of this tool thanks a lot